naysayers, welcome back. My name is Laura and this is the weekly warm up where I share clear, fun voice education to help you enjoy your singing even more. Now today I'm here to tell you I've been wrong about breath. Not totally wrong. I still believe in the engaged out released in breath cycle. I still believe that abdominal or belly breath really is a wonderful tool. But what I've come to realize is it's not the only tool and I have been underusing in my own body, one of the chief places that breath can really be um, kind of stored, be engaged, and be activated. So I really wanna share that with you today in an exercise that's gonna help you activate and really appreciate the motion of the ribs. Okay, so let's just start with a very brief piece of anatomy, which is if this is your spine, if you were looking at me from the back, each of your ribs is actually jointed to the spine. They're not sort of solidly fused on there, but each one has a joint where it attaches at the spine and it can swing up and down like the handle of a bucket. And so what we're gonna do first is just take the hands here and you're gonna put them up so that you can feel the bones under your hands, not hands on the waist, but nice and up here on the bones with the thumbs to the back, and I want you to take a big breath and feel that expansion there. Feel that widening and now let that breath out. Let's do that again and just remember here that the ribs and the shoulder blades are not attached in the back. So as you widen and expand and lift those ribs, you do not need to also lift the shoulders. They can just surf over the top of that sliding action. So let's go ahead, expand again. And as you release, feel how that they how they drop. Okay, so now let's get into that and make a sound on the exhalation. So we will inhale, lift and expand those ribs, and then on the exhalation, woo, sigh the air out, and you will feel that lifting and then dropping in the ribs. Here we go. And out. Wonderful. We're really looking for motion the whole way through. Let's try that one more time. See if you can get even a little bit more expansion between those thumbs as you inhale. And then just track that movement of the ribs as the air goes out and make sure they're not sort of stopping along the way. Here we go. Let's inhale. And out. Wonderful. Now let's see what happens if we want to extend that exhalation. We're going to move the ribs more slowly, but this is the most essential information I can give you today. I'm asking you to not resist the lowering of the ribs. So it's not like you're kind of providing an isometric resistance, but in fact, that you're just moving them more slowly. The first time I tried this, it felt like it would be impossible for me because I had so much resistance built into the way I was supporting my breath. But in fact, you don't need to resist. You can just move the ribs slowly in exactly the same way that you can move your arms slowly. So let's take a breath in. We'll sigh out on ooh, and we will uh, lower the ribs nice and slowly without resisting their motion here, without trying to hold them up, without clutching or um, blocking in the throat just a nice, easy, slow movement. All right, breathe in, lift and, and expand the ribs. And out slowly. What did you feel? Did you feel like it was difficult to not sort of resist their motion? Let's give that one more try. Here we go, breathe in and out. Wonderful. As you sing this week, play around. Make sure that you're not only feeling drop here, Provide yourself with an alternative. See what happens if you look for a little bit more activity here in the side rib. And especially watch for that feeling of resisting against the lowering of the ribs or resisting against allowing the air to flow out. And practice the idea of just flowing more slowly while maintaining motion. 
I think it's going to really create some new freedom in your singing, some more comfort, and isn't that what we're all looking for? So good luck with that. Thank you so much for watching this video and for practicing with me today. I really appreciate your time. And if this was useful for you, then I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel so I can see you next week and every Thursday. And thank you for practicing.